Good morning, music teachers. Today we're talking about layering. Um, it's rather simple. Um, let's take a look at the next slide. So say for example, um, I wanna take this blue square and I wanna put it behind this staff. Um, to do that, I'm going to right click the graphic and then send it back. And then I'm just gonna put this right on top. So now I have what looks like a new image. Now there is some other ways to move objects. Like for example, um, say that I wanna bring this red square to the front of the black square. Okay, so I'm instead of um, using send, uh, bring to front or send to back, um, I can also do this another way. I can go up to arrange and see how there's two more options, bring forward and send backward. Um, bring front will literally put it right, right in the front. But say that when I want to send it back, that I don't want to, it to go all the way to the very back, that I want it to go to the middle. Well, if I send it backward instead of to the back, I can put it right back in the middle. So that's just to give you an idea that there are several layers that you can work with and why it's important to put one thing in front of the other. All right, the next thing I wanna to talk to you about is transparency. So for example, um, I can click on this background, which I put here on purpose and right click and it gives me format picture down here. And if I click on this, um, a new menu will come up. And inside this menu, if I go over to the last icon to format the picture, there is something called picture transparency. And if I click on this, this can help me change the image back to its its original. So the original image is really bright and it's not so great to display text. So I use the transparency so that it was easier for people to read what was on the slide. All right, and that is it for this video.